I'm Robbie, and this is Thomas. Together with Brian and Andrew, we make up Adventure Archives, and our next adventure would be on the coast of California. After driving from Indianapolis to Denver, I met up with Thomas and we headed a few hours south to camp a night in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Now, it was time to begin our journey west to California to meet up with the others. First up, a six-hour drive on I-70 to Dead Horse Point State Park in Moab, Utah. Fortunately for us, the drive is a little more scenic than the stretches of I-70 we're used to. Oh, and this is Sierra. All right, are we sure we want to do this? <laughs> we got to do it, baby. Five hours, 40 minutes. Let's get out of Colorado. is the national highway and it goes I don't know where it even begins I think somewhere in Pennsylvania but I know I take it from Columbus to Indianapolis when I'm seeing Robbie and then when I moved out here I took 70 from Indianapolis all the way to Denver and it goes through the Rockies and I think it ends in Utah I could be wrong but it's like it's an American staple we're taking it all the way this is my first time driving through the Rockies and still part of me thinks that there's like parts of the highway that are going to be like so precariously on the edge of a snow-capped mountain that it's like a thousand foot drop with no guardrail on either side. Right now it looks like they just blasted their way through the mountains. So Rod, what's the furthest you've ever driven by yourself in a day? Eight hours. That's horrible. I'll never do that again. I'm not you. <laughs> you should ask me that question. Yeah, what's the furthest you've ever driven? Oh. 20 hours. 20 hours? 20 hours. That's not enough sleep. No, it was getting kind of sketchy there at the end. But that's when you start calling people you know and just say, hey, can you talk to me for four hours? <laughs> Did we hang up on you when you called us? <laughs> You're like, Thomas! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you smell something? No. Oh, I do, yeah. It smells like burning rubber or something. This would be the shortest road trip ever. <laughs> 30 minute road trip. One thing people may or may not know is that you always ask questions to spark conversation. <laughs> now would be an excellent time to ask a conversation sparking question. Would you rather never be asked a dumb question in your life? Or would you rather never ask a dumb question in your life? Oh, I ask dumb questions all the time. So I'm gonna have to say I would rather never ask a dumb question again. Trick question, no question is a dumb question. Except there are definitely <laughs> some dumb questions. I would always rather somebody ask me a question rather than do the wrong thing because they didn't ask a question. It'd be a good boss someday. I'm your boss. <laughs> you are my boss. Drive! <laughs> Is like smelling like. You smell that, Sierra? What is it, girl? sick? Is it your, do you have a headache? It's headache and a general feeling of nausea, disgust. <laughs> I was looking at my phone earlier and I was like, God, I just get so sick of looking at the internet. <laughs> and I was like, that's probably partially it, but it's also just, I feel sick. <laughs> so I hope you didn't do it on just my behalf because I didn't like it. Just shaved the mustache. It had to come off. We had to establish that I could do it, maintain it, and then say goodbye when it was ready to put it to bed. I hated it. I have no right to hate it, but I hated it. I hated it and I loved it at the same time. How's it going, Sierra? You look like a sack of jelly. Does she like driving? Yeah. Well, she doesn't hate it. She 
does better than any other dog we've had. She doesn't grow up. She just kind of sits there. You know, she'll entertain herself when she needs to. She seems a minimal to most situations. Except when it involves something that rolls, like skateboards or bikes or scooters. She hates those. She will try and run away. Yes. What do you know about Vale? I don't know much about Vale. I just know this is where the very, very rich go to uh, vacation. <laughs> kind of like Jackson Hole, but I think even fancier than Jackson Hole. But Jackson Hole is getting so fancy now, too. I don't know. Quick bathroom break in Vale. There's supposed to be a visitor center no, somewhere. No, it's a town center, not a visitor center. Okay, um, I'll just run in, go All to right. the bathroom. See you, man. Bye. Actually, I'll leave this here. Don't need my cell phone. Wait, no. In an emergency. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Okay, bathroom successfully found. I did not know my bladder could hold that much. Yo, found some parking? Yeah. I think it's free. Yeah, this is like a transportation center. There was a bunch of people waiting for buses and oh, stuff cool. inside. Let's see, top deck parking, 6 a.m. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. So actually, Thomas and I both have never been skiing before. But now that you live in Denver, I feel like that's gotta happen at some point. Let's keep, let's keep going. Or maybe you'll go skiing, you'll say it sucks, and then I'll just never ski. <laughs> What do you see? She's what do you nervous. see, Sierra? Once again, we are on the trail. This is beautiful, man. I see why people want to come out here. What a beautiful summer getaway this was. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah, the most beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. I can tell you I'm going to be really hungry in about two hours. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Saving myself from marriage. <laughs> Not me! <laughs> Alright, just another four hours. Here's the day. Yeah, so the Continental Divide, is in some places it's a visible line, in other places it's not as visible, but all the water that's east of the Continental Divide ends up in the Atlantic. All the water that's west of the Continental Divide ends up in the Pacific. Wow, that's weird. It's not a straight line either, yeah, you know, it, it's it, a... it kind of cut curves, but there's like a very clear line, line in the sand where which water goes where. Interesting. So we keep seeing these gaps There's one fences, yeah. That they look like little dirt ramps with a fence in the middle. And apparently it's so that if wildlife get onto the freeway, they have a way to get back out. But there's a sharp drop off afterwards so they can't get back in. Which raises the question, how did they get out here in the first place? You know, living back in San Antonio, they actually had a, um, an animal land bridge over one of their highways so that wildlife could go back and forth over the highway so it like would funnel them to this highway overpass that they've added soil and trees and everything so you could they, they can go back and forth so you've never been this far west on i-70 you know we've driven across the country before but we've never driven through the rockies right so there's yeah. a few different routes you can take and i think a lot of people take 70 but in the winter time 70 can be kind of sketchy because this whole road can be covered in snow yeah yeah when we did this 
we went through Albuquerque, Phoenix, and then Vegas and Los Angeles. It's a very unique part of the country. So there's a train you can actually take from Denver to Moab, and maybe this is the route. Maybe this is the train that you can take. I think it's called like the Mountaineer, Rocky Mountaineer or something like that. So this is a bridge. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. You focus on the road, Thomas. <laughs> okay. Don't let us die. <laughs> I'll watch the video after. <laughs> there is no guardrail right there, is there? No. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, cool. Look at that, man. Wow, the other lane's below us. Yeah. That's cool. You don't have a lot of space to build roads up here. Man, these new Mario Kart levels are really getting intense. <laughs> rather spend a month in a fire lookout tower or a month on a through hike? Mm, that's a tough question. The adventuring, seeing new stuff part of me is like through hike all the way. But the part of me that doesn't want to be tired and cold <laughs> and hungry says fire tower. But I think overall I do through hike. I would do the fire tower 100%. I don't love backpacking nearly as much as I love hiking because when you're hiking you just have a destination get to that destination, then you turn around, and then you reward yourself with a great post hike meal. I just, there's something super appealing to me about just going from point to point to point to point. And that's what I love about backpacking. So on our left here is the Colorado River. I could be wrong, but we're gonna more or less follow this river all the way to Vegas. I think it ultimately goes to the Hoover Dam and then ends up in the California Gulf. be a little premature but I'm kind of getting the sense that we might be out of the Rockies and very much in Mesa country. It does look very different. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, thank there you. Go. When I was a kid, my dad would take me to Kosai. It's like that museum. I don't know if you've ever been. Afterwards, we'd go to the world's first Wendy's in downtown Columbus. Mm. I remember the first time I ordered not off the kids menu. He, he got me a Dave's classic single. Now, every time I go to Wendy's, I got to order the Dave's double just because I'm a little hungrier. <laughs> you know, that's something I haven't done in a long time. You dip the, dip the fries, fries in the in shake. shake. Hell yeah. You like doing that too? Hell yeah. Sierra, step 
go better? Is this better? We got an hour and 52 minutes left to the campsite. We're gonna get there just before 11. Not ideal. All right, good night, Thomas. <laughs> Don't you do this to me, Robbie. Good luck to you. <laughs> lightning in the distance, but where we're going in Moab, Utah, looks clear. A low of 63. That sounds very enjoyable. It's a perfect signal. Good night, Thomas. <laughs> Luck, we're gonna be gonna pass in a bit. In Moab, it's not even raining right now, but yeah, this is a little sketchy. I believe in you, Tommy. I'm still scared though. <laughs> <laughs> well, rain has stopped. We are 32 minutes away. With any luck we should avoid all of the rain. There might be a very light dusting according to the radar, but. Come on. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> cattle grate. Oh yeah, explain cattle grates. No. <laughs> Did you say no? <laughs> <laughs> we are on a totally deserted road. It is really weird actually, because when I hit a certain age, I just stopped being afraid of the dark. Sometimes in my house, it's dark at night and I'm trying to walk around. I will not turn on a single light. I will feel no fear. <laughs> There's another car as late as us. Yeah, yeah. We have to walk to ours. It's back there. Oh, there That's right. How are you feeling? Feeling good. How about you? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please consider joining our Patreon community at patreon.com slash adventure. Patrons get early access to the videos, special live streams, commentaries, and bloopers. Maybe. We'll see. I feel like, I feel like I just got a wheel seat by my dad. <laughs> we'll see. Would you rather... <laughs> what? You're telling me you want to die in a tunnel? 
Kind of, a whole, of all the ways to go. I'm gonna have a whole mountain just collapse on you. Get in the channel! A 15 minute parking right here. Top deck park. Where? To the left, right here. Where do you see 15 right minutes? Right here. It's right here. Just go in yeah, there. The board you see no, 15 minutes? in there. Oh, 15 minute park. <laughs> okay. right. I'm gonna turn this off. Did you turn this off? No, no, no. It's on. It's on. So I'm gonna get out and then turn it off like oh. that. Well, what a beautiful. Wait, what, did, what season is it? Summer. Yeah. Wow, look at, look at those houses. Yep. I'll point at it with my beef jerky. <laughs> I got another button. Oh. <laughs> These turns are pretty sharp. <laughs> I could benefit. <laughs> I feel like I'm running the Death Star trench run. <laughs> that Jeep's got places to be. I need oh, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll need my companionship. <laughs> it's like as I drift off, you go slower and slower, and I have to stay away from you to keep top speed. <laughs> I will annoy you. So we get there. I will make sure we make it safely through the power of annoyance. <laughs> power of annoyance. Is that a word? <laughs> you know, they say these what <laughs> like, you know, they say these old roads are haunted. Hold me! 